Hi, my name is Victoria Dula. I'm the avionics technical project manager at Ashvatic, um, and mainly what avionics is, is we work on all the electronics design for the lunar landers. So the electronics are what controls the actual lander itself, so it includes things like the flight controller, the thermal control system, how we control our engines with our propulsion controller, and our power system. So the avionics team created the electronics. We did all of the design, the testing, and in parallel while we're doing that, the software team is doing all the programming of our FPGAs, our different computers, just to make sure that we can actually control and get all the data. And then once it's on the lander and we're in the mission, all that data comes through the mission ops and our AMCC, and we're able to actually get the data and different teams, is, the data is distributed to different teams. It's really like the brain of the lander itself. We designed the electronics in a way that we could take them from lander to lander, regardless of was it a small peregrine, a big griffin, if we decide we want to do something in the middle, they're configurable in a way that we can suit it to all our needs for the lander program, and we can explore how we can make them useful for other programs, for our rover programs, if we want to move into satellites, things like that, how we can adapt them. This is the first step, this is the huge base, and from here, We'll look back and we have all our blanks, anything we've used. We'll have that history that we can look back on and say, well, this is how we did it here. What can we learn from and how do we take it forward? I'm super proud of the avionics team. Uh, we're in the process of acceptance testing all of our avionics boxes and the thermal control unit has been successfully integrated to the Peregrine lander, which is super exciting. Keep an eye out for our Peregrine launch to the moon later this year to see our avionics in action. It's the first time we're going back to the moon since the Apollo era, so 50 years. If anyone's going to do it, it's this team because of the super incredible talented people I've met over the years here.